What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 37 and today's topic will be how to export a PNG from PDF so when we're talking about PNG definitely we're talking about that uh, we have created some sort of graphics or drawing object inside our uh, PDF and we now want to export that object in the form of PNG so how to do that so in the last tutorial which was tutorial 36 we have just uh, introduced on the graphics package so definitely uh, the exporting also will be done using graphics so how to export PNG from PDF using graphics example 1 and example 2 so I'll be going to give you or uh, show you two example and probably you guys can um, uh, go through the documentation of the report lab official um, I think yes official documentation and they will find some more tutorials so but the fundamental or the main part I'll definitely cover so without wasting further time let me just open the ID so from report lab dot graphics import shapes and for writing into PDF it was render something render PDF and here it will be rendered PM okay and another one from report lab dot lead colors okay so let's run the tutorial now so again we'll create one drawing object drawing let's go which equals to mm, shapes okay shapes dot drawing and we'll define our drawing object size kind of let's say 500 500 okay and then drawing underscore obj dot add and there we'll draw the object so shapes dot rec it is the same thing whatever we did in the last time so we'll start from 20 and 20 will be let's say 30 uh, sorry 300 and 300 and fill color will be let's say colors dot green okay and now we'll uh, export this thing so it is going to be render pm dot draw to file okay now we'll give drawing object we'll give the file name as tutorial 37.png and let's give the png so let's run this thing so it's terminated so if you refresh this thing so tutorial sorry it is called um, pbg sorry it is going to be png actually okay so let's refresh this thing again so it's the here see it's created actually so what I'll do I can show you this thing from Eclipse Warpe and let me open this thing report lab I'm just thinking where is my report lab report lab tutorial this is not Well, let me just open this thing again from here. Well, Eclipse here. Let's run for report lab python. Okay, so this png file is not here I am not sure why this is not here strange this is strange actually I'm not sure why this is not coming let's forget it so let me just Showing system explorer okay so it came it's here actually so 
it's like this so now I will show you like what is the significance of different things so just make it here so just move it to here so let's do one thing let's make it 700 and let's make it 800 so let's run this thing again so it executed see its height and width become a bigger right so this is how it is this is a very simple thing so one example of creating rectangle so this is example one so what I'll do rectangle and now we'll uh, create circle so what I will do I will this and put everything inside command okay circle so circle is going to be the same thing again so here we'll just write circle and for circle we need to change let's say 50 50 and we'll make it 75 okay so let's run this thing so this is done so I think well it is created let's open this thing tutorial this circle let me just refresh this thing again okay this is a circle actually so we need to make it a bit upper so 150 from here so let's run this thing again now also it is kind of half circle so what I'll do okay so hopefully now this will be fixed yes this is a full circle so this is nice so let me just copy paste this thing so this is how we can easily export this thing here okay so this is for circle and this is for rectangle so let me just save it this thing okay and I will just change this thing okay so I'll upload the whole code source code and this thing as well together so definitely this will help you guys to understand okay so that's it so from the graphics point of view I think uh, we have seen what are the different use cases so probably I'm not sure what will be the next uh, tutorial so I will take some time and upload uh, I will take probably one or two days time to upload the next video because before that I need to prepare the use case or I'm not sure what I'm gonna continue on this series or probably what are the things left but again we have covered almost all basics and intermediate parts few advanced topics are pending on only so probably there will be like uh, not uh, not much tutorials are left so probably 20 or 25 more videos will be there and after that will be done with our report lab series so that's all guys congratulations you guys are doing pretty good and I'm also doing uh, quite uh, uh, like um, adjustment to upload those videos but again uh, thanks for the patience thanks for the cooperation i will definitely try to upload videos much more faster in this uh, january and february so thank you guys thanks for all your support hopefully by end of february we'll be uh, going to complete this series and thank you very much for all the udemy students thanks for buying this course and it is actually uh, def uh, helping me to and more giving me some sort of confidence and motivated motivation to upload new contents every day and I'll promise that in 2020 uh, it's already started so in uh, coming weeks or coming months I'll try to come up with some more exciting tutorial we already started the last tutorial hopefully you guys will enjoy that as well and probably some other uh, part also I'm working so hopefully in two or three weeks time those new tutorial or series will be coming so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and no, don't forget to subscribe our channel share our videos with your family friends and also hit the hit the bell icon so that you should not miss any notification whenever I am uploading or doing something in the channel. So that's all guys, that's all for today, hope to see you in the next video, till then take care, goodbye and have a nice day.